Recently, I had the opportunity to work in a project and to measure the voice quality of a sprinkler platform. I deployed multiple free switch containers to generate call, play a pre-recorded file that in the later stage we connected to an AI agent, and then capture the statistics, including the mean opinion score from the free switch CDR. Then I used Telegraph to read this data feed to my time series database that is InfluxDB and show it in a Grafana system. We use this platform to measure the call quality of the sprinkler platform, but actually we can use the same mechanism or same platform to measure and monitor any voice network. So in this video, we will go through some uh, components of this setup, uh, especially on the free switch side and how to configure them and how to especially generate this CDR that includes the mean opinion score. Uh, we will explain what is mean opinion score, how it can be generated in the free switch CDR and in the next videos, we will go to the other items like how to uh, install and use Telegraph to and ship this data to our InfluxDB or how to visualize it in a Grafana. So let's get started. I'm sure it will be very exciting, especially if you are familiar with the FreeSwitch system. Here is a simple flow of how this system works. FreeSwitch acts as the core telephony platform generating and handling the calls. It also produces call detail records or CDRs, which contains key call metrics like total calls, answered calls and also the MOS for call quality. If you are not familiar with MOS, it stands for Mean Opinion Score. It's a widely used metrics for assessing call quality ranging from 1 poor quality to 5 excellent quality. MOS is calculated based on the factors like packet loss, jitter and latency providing a standard way to measure and compare call quality. Let's go back to our diagram. Free switch generates CDRs in multiple formats and can even send them directly to an HTTP server or a database. In this setup, I chose a CSV file and that's the key part to integrate this system with any other system. Telegraph collects the CDRs and forwards them to a central database for storage and analysis. InfluxDB is a time series database that stores the CDR data and enables us to do our analytics. And Grafana visualizes real-time call data including success rate, MOS score and for example hang-up reasons. With this setup, we can monitor call quality at a glance and detect issues instantly. And the best part, this method isn't limited to free switch. Any telephone system, whether open source or commercial, can generate CDRs and as long as you can export them into a file, you can use the same approach to analyze and visualize your call center statistics in real time. Or it's better to say near real time. Now that we understand the goal of this project, let's go through the key steps involved in setting up our call quality monitoring system. We'll start by configuring FreeSwitch to generate call detail records or CDRs. This ensures that we have detailed logs of every call, including metrics like call duration, MOS, and hang-up causes. Next, we will install InfluxDB a time series database where all our call records will be stored. This will allow us to efficiently analyze call performance over the time. Telegraph acts as our data collection agent. It will read CDRs from FreeSwitch and sends them to InfluxDB in a structured format. Once Telegraph is set up, we will verify that our call records are correctly stored in InfluxDB. We will also run queries to check key metrics like total calls, MOS scores, and failure reasons. Finally, we will configure Grafana to visualize our call data. This will provide real-time insights like 
call success rates, MOS scores, and hang-up causes, making it easier to monitor and troubleshoot issues. As you might guess, this will be a long video, so I divided it into two parts. In this video, I will walk you through the process of generating call detail records or CDRs in FreeSwitch and in installing and configuring InfluxDB to store those records. In the next video, I will cover how to install and configure Telegraph to send CDR data to InfluxDB and how to set up Grafana to visualize the data. You can install all these components on a single server, but in real-world deployments, monitoring is usually handled on a separate machine. So for this lab setup, I followed the same approach. FreeSwitch and Telegraph will run on server 1, while InfluxDB and Grafana will be on server 2. Now let's dive into the configuration. Let's configure our FreeSwitch system to generate CDR logs in CSV format. FreeSwitch provides multiple ways to log call detail records, including XML, JSON, and CSV format. In this setup, we're using the CSV format because it makes it easier to process. And also, to be honest, I want to use it on my friend's system that is actually a Cisco system. To enable CSV logging, we need to modify the CDR underline CSV.conf.xml file, which is located in the etc free switch auto load underscore configs. Of course, if you have installed your free switch from source, it, it will be in the USR local free switch, I mean, wherever you downloaded your source code and in the, the conf folder. Let's break down the key parts of this configuration. Default template is set to MOS, which defines the format of the CDR entries. Rotate on hop is enabled, ensuring that the new log entry is generated after each call is hung up. You know that the CDR is generating after the call because we need to have the call duration and we just know the call duration after the call, when the call is finished and we will have the duration. Legs is set to A, meaning that we're only logging the A or color leg of the call. Master file only is set to true, which means all CDR will be written into a single master CSV file instead of separate files for each call. The template defines what information will be logged, including color ID and destination number, a start and end time of the call, call ID duration and billing seconds, hang up calls, unique identifier like UUID, codec information, and RTP MOS score for call quality analysis. Once the configuration is in place, we need to restart the free switch or reload the mode CDR CSV in free switch CLI to apply the changes. Now that the free switch is configured, let's check if it's actually generating CDRs. We can do this by running the following command to view the CDR file. cat var lock free switch CDR CSV slash master.csv. As you can see, each row represents a call record with details like the color, destination, timestamp, duration, hang up calls, codecs used, and even the MOS score for voice quality. With this data now being logged in the free switch, the next step is to store it in a structured database where we can query and visualize it. For that, we'll set up InfluxDB.